Good morning, it's Saturday the 11th of July 2020 and it's 8am in the morning and I was making this yesterday so it's made out of three parts and the first part is this and that's a bike light holder and it attaches around your seat post and holds a bike light. The second bit is this here and that's a bike pump holder it goes around your bike frame and holds your pump and i've made lines in it as you can see there and put this webbing through this webbing strap here you can see inside the spring sits in the gap at the bottom and it's wedged in place and then these two screws tighten it up so that don't move at all then you've got this attachment and this was off a of dog biking not dog shoring dog biking the dog runs at the side i tried the attachment with orion a few years back and we was doing it and a jack russell run out and orion had it and it was quite difficult to control him in being on the bike so yeah i never did it again so the attachment is into this plastic pump holder and it comes along here and here I've put a cable tie around and that keeps that bit there because it's not completely joined if you've seen don't completely meet I mean um, so it stops this ring coming off I did try and bend this piece of metal but it's steel and I can't bend it so I've put a ring in instead so nosy If you don't know who this is, this is my toy toys, it's called Loop. He's been eating dandelion leaves and white clover flowers and white clover leaves. It's great this time of year, you can pick a load of wild food for him. Okay, so I've made this and I've also sorted a line out and I'll show it you now on my scooter and my scooter's a Yadu Mazek and it's got 20 inch front wheels, 16 inch back wheel. On my front wheel I've put a 20 inch BMX tyre, a Michelin Mambo, I think it's 2.2 with a knobbler grip on. So I've been using it myself to get fit before I do dog joring. So I can use a scooter and have Flo pulling me as well. Can't just rely on Flo completely. Here she is, puppy princess. So here's a scooter, a Yadu Mazek. It's got a Garmin GPS on, just use that display to see how long I've been out, how many miles I've done. It's got a Ross wheel scooter bag. Pocket in the front there. Pocket there to put your phone in, or maybe a small printed map. Big compartment there. I have got an unboxing video on this on my YouTube channel. Um, <laughs> someone did comment, this is not waterproof. Uh, yeah, I know it's not waterproof. <laughs> so the line will go round here and the attachment goes on there on my handlebar stem. The Michelin Mambo tyres that are fitted. As you can see, we've got a good grip. Tetro Aries disc brakes. And fitted a bottle. One thing, the footboard's not very big. You can only get one foot on it. Size ten and a half feet. Right, okay. I'm gonna get it on the tripod and show you how it fits. Okay. It's, <coughs> it's literally a five minute job. She's biting the tripod. Get off! <coughs> You will go in your cage. I am not tolerating this. Giddy kipper. Right, 
Oh, stop it, Flo. We've got the DIY antenna. We've got a screwdriver. So it's all of five minutes. So what you've got to do, this screw here as a nut at the back. I need to unscrew that so the plastic clasp opens. And I get that out. This goes on here like that. I've dropped the nut. <laughs> keep your finger on the back, keep the nut in. Yeah, right. Right, I found it. Right, so that just goes in there like that. If you can see, the handlebars have moved. Right, so it tightens up like that. You've just got to make sure it's lined up with the front wheel. Right, so this tightens up. It's lined up with the front wheel. So you don't have to do it too tight. It grips on really well. It's got a plastic sleeve on the inside, what helps it grip. So then you get this strap. And you pull it fairly tight, fasten that. So, as you can see, it doesn't dip down. This part dipped down, that's why I put the strap on it. So it doesn't dip down, but it moves and it has flex. It moves with the handlebars, as you can see. I'm gonna put the line on. So, she'll go mad here. It's a lead, she can't, <laughs> she can't handle seeing a lead. <laughs> right, I'll show you how the lead goes on. So it's simple. Get off it here. Just goes through there like that. I might cut that piece of foam off because it stops it going completely round. And if you fit it over that knot there. Right, so my mate Russ just rang. Um, I don't know how much I've filmed now. So it's looped round my lead like that. You get this part, you pass it through there, and it sits like that, keeping the lead away from the wheel and not going in the wheel. <coughs> I'll just show you how it's stretched out. Shut up! Oh, this video ain't meant to be <coughs> This video ain't meant to be made. Right. <coughs> Shut up, you big gob. You're always barking. <coughs> Shut up now! Wow, it actually worked. <laughs> right, didn't realise when my mate FaceTimed me, it stopped the video. So, we've got the line attached around like that. It goes through there on this ring. And if you see by the length of it, it's a good length. And it don't just end there, so that's the lead. And it's got this bungee on. Now, I got this bungee years ago. I've used it loads of times when I did canny cross with Orion. And if I can get at this angle, you can see how far away it is from the wheel. So she's a good distance off. I'm worried about braking and you soon catch up if you're moving and you're braking on the bike. Um, and I don't want to run into her or all out. I want it a good length and I think that's a good length as you can see. Might be too long, don't know. All we can do is go out and try it out. So um, I'm thinking about tomorrow morning on Sunday when it's quiet, the lanes is stay kill. So we'll see. So I did a FaceTime chat with my mate and he was saying, oh, will this attachment fit on your mountain bike? And I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, it will, yeah. Um, didn't think about it when I was making it, but yeah, I can get it off and I can put it on my mountain bike. Well, it's not a mountain bike, it's an electric mountain bike, but obviously I'd have it in low power and see how I go. But first of all, it's dog scootering we're trying. And this little devil is eating bits of paper, aren't you? Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? 
A. Okay, when I was FaceTiming my mate Ross, and that's Cycling with Ross YouTube channel, he said about this bag. And by my understanding, I don't think he likes it. It's got gloves in it, mate. It's got an inhaler in it. But he said, I'd take it off. I don't think it looks it looks cool enough for him. Um because he does some quite extreme stuff. So there you go, mate. I took it off. Just for you. Do you think that looks better? Now he said about the GPS, but I use the GPS as a display. I want to see how long I am I'm out for. The watching greatest. It's a small digits. I can't see it dead easy. I can barely read the time on it. So what are you doing? What are you doing? Right, okay. So it looks like that now. So there you go, Russ. Cycling with Russ. Right, while we're talking about cycling with Russ, I bought this off him and it's a Fox mountain bike helmet. I'll give it a good clean under the shower. Full of mud and all little bits and that. He gave me new pads to put in it. So it's got new pads in it. So nosy. Cleaned all the straps, everything's been cleaned. And yeah, it's a real good helmet. I'm buzzing with it, mate. And he sold it me really cheap um, compared to what price they are when you look at them online. So thanks for that, mate. And as you can see, it's got a GoPro mount here. Eh? So I'll just show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fit a Samsung Gear 360 360 camera. Two lenses on it, front and back. You stitch them together into a 360 video. But you can use software called Insta360 Studio so I want to see whether this camera is still relevant so this will be appearing on a separate video on its own parts of this footage but yeah I want to use it like that when I'm doing dog scootering and see what the angle's like okay totally sidetracked off a DIY dog joring antenna but yeah that's what I'm doing go out for five minutes and come back and she's done this Nice one flow for making me the work. So I've changed the lead, the line, and I've put it in between me two bars there. I was just worrying whether that would rise up and come up here. So it can't go down and it can't go up. And I've fastened it around the bars like that, just for now. Right, I want to show you the harness next that I've got. What are you doing? Hey, this harness, I've had it a while now. I did get it for Orion, but I didn't like the fit of it. And then my dad lent it for his border collie pup, and he wore it for a few months. And I've got it back, and I got it off eBay. It was about, I think it was about £13. It's Chinese, and it's called Sport Dog sports dog and i've not really used it because if you've seen some of my videos flow pulls really strong and this harness she can pull really strong in it it gives me a stitch it gives me a pain under my ribs and yeah um i can't use it because she pulls that strong in it so i was looking at harnesses and the they're not cheap, X-Back harnesses, starting at 30 quid and going upwards to like 80, 90, a lot of money. And all I need is a harness that she pulls strong in and this is the one. So just showing the harness. Ring on the back there. Very fasten, goes like that. I'm doing it in my bedroom because if Flo sees it, she'll think she's going out exactly now. Right now. <laughs> Everywhere. What's this doing? Hey, young lady. Hey, get off. 
Get off, get off, now. <laughs> you little devil, you've caused chaos. You've caused chaos. Look at her bouncing. Spring, <laughs> Springer, get off. Right, okay, so we've got the scooter already. We've got an helmet, we've got an harness for flow, and I'll catch up in the next video, which will be me riding it tomorrow. I'm cutting this short, it's reaching on 15 minutes. Don't really want it longer. Um, I can do a good length. <coughs> shut up, I can do a good, <coughs> shut up. <coughs> I can do a good length video then of me first dog in dog scootering <coughs> ride with me puppy flon. She's on one. Right, okay, you've been watching me, Paul, at One Man One Dog. And thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch. Okay, bye. You're a pain.